Hi viewers and welcome to the channel and today we're talking about TetDraw and it's a viewers question. Now they've asked me how do you enable these crosshairs that you see on screen here in your technical drawings and they will be placed in any circles or arcs or slots on your technical drawings so you can make measurements between these crosshairs here. Now this is available on a per view basis so you can have them enabled or disabled on the individual views and also change the size of them as well. When you very first come into technical drawings, this won't be available on that workbench. And this video will show you how to get that enabled and how to change those settings on a per view basis. If you like this video, please hit a like and also subscribe to the channel. I also have a Ko-Fi site where you can actually donate to my contributions to the community and that's at ko-fi.com slash mang0. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna open up an existing scene that I have. And this is the item that I want to create a technical drawing with. It's a very simple item. I've got some chamfers and a couple of circles in there that have been padded and pocketed. So to do a tech draw, I'm gonna use the top view for this one. I'm gonna place one view in there and I'm gonna show you how to get these center marks on. Now, when you first come into your tech draw, what you need to do is set some preferences in there. To do that, we go over to edit, preferences, and what you'll see is that you haven't got the tech draw on the left-hand side. Now, to get that on the left-hand side, you either open the tech draw workbench, or you come into workbenches, and scroll down to the bottom, and you'll see that there's a tech drawer there and just click on load selected and that will load that workbench into our left hand side pane there so click on the tech drawer and what you'll find is that in annotations you'll see the show center marks is off so we need to click on that and also the print center marks needs to be checked as well now take note of this bottom note here. So items in italics are default value for new objects. They have no effects on assisting objects. So if you have an existing view in there, you may have to delete it and re-add it for this show center marks to appear. Now there's some other options in there that need to be set, but what we're gonna do is just apply that for starters and we'll come back to this config. So hit apply and okay. And what I'm gonna do is jump over to tech draw. So the tech draw workbench from the workbench drop down. In tech draw now, I've got the tech draw menu option at the left hand side here. And I'm gonna insert a default page. We can insert from the template or we can use this toolbar here. Insert default page, insert page using template. And I'm gonna click on the body. So this is the body of the existing view. So the top and I'm gonna insert that view. So come up to Tetral and insert view or use the toolbar insert a view icon there. And you'll see that's insert that view, but you can see our vertices, these dots here are quite large. And this will be the default set when you come into the Tetral, these will be large. So what I'm going to do is just gonna move this up to the left hand side. Now I need to go into edit preferences and I've got to de decrease that vertex size. So click on tech draw and go to scale. Now this is where some people accidentally set this wrong. You mustn't set this to zero because that will stop the center mark scale even if this is set to something other than zero, which it should be actually working because you need a vertex for that center mark. So I would set this to something like one and now that allow the actual center mark to appear. Now center mark scale we need to set as well. And depending on how big this is will be depending on how large the cross you want, want it to be. So I'm gonna set this to two. This could be modified later and it can be changed on a per view basis as well. So I've just inserted that view, if I insert another view, I can change that 
size of those crosshairs on a per view basis. And I'll show you that in a mo. So I'm going to apply and OK that. Now, if we look at this view, we can see none of that has been applied to that. If I go out, edit and refresh, still hasn't applied. So we're just going to click on body and I can insert the same view again. So you can see we've got something different now. And this is where the italics came in. So the items in italics don't get applied until you re-add that object. So this is the old object we add, and this is now the new object, the new view, old view, new view. And you can see we've got the center marks and these vertices are smaller. So in here, you can just about see that vertex in there. So I'm going to delete this view. And we're going to work with this one now. Now we can see the center marks are a bit small, but we can also go in there and change that. So if I want them larger, I can. But the other thing is, if we either don't see these, or if they're too small, the other place to check is if you click on the view, is go over to the left hand side here on your properties. And if we scan down, you can see the projection there. We can see the HLR parameters and everything that's in there. But if we jump over to view, and we're looking at decoration. Now make sure this arc center, let's bring this out a bit so we can see what they are. Make sure arc center marks is set to true if you can't see any, because if we set that to false, that will make those invisible. So set that to true. And see this arc center scale? You can modify that on a per view basis. So this takes the default, which was two, which we added in our config. But we can up this, and you can see these center crosshairs are increasing in size, like so. We've got other items in here if we so desire to change them. So we can change the color of our section line, the horizontal center line, if it's enabled or not. So you can see that's going across that center there on the horizontal and also vertical center line. If we so desire, we can change those. But this is more to do with those crosshairs in the center of circles and arcs, etc. Also, if we come down here, you can see we've got some items here for lines. So line width, if we increase this, you can see the line width increases and our crosshairs increase. So we've got it sums to these size there. So if we just set that to one or 0.8, you can see how that has effect on those crosshairs as well. So I had this at 0.5 or 0.2, 0.25. That's about right for what I want, but increasing this will increase the crosshair size and the weight of that line as well. So now we've got these crosshairs in, in here, we can come in and select the crosshair, holding down control and select the other crosshair and put a width across those using the distance tool. And that will be the distance between those two there. Obviously diameters just affect the circles. So we add a diameter in there. You can see how that's been added to that circle there. And that crosshair still stays there. Now, what do these look like when you have a slot or an arced shape in there that's made up of circles? Well, I'm going to do that in part design for the model that I have. I can jump over to the part design and I'm going to do something that you shouldn't really do and add it to the chamfer. The chamfer should come as the last operation in your tree, really, because adding stuff to a chamfer, if you go back to the chamfer and change it at all, it may break the sketch that's laying on top of it. So I'm going to click on this face here. So that chamfer is selected there. And I'm going to create a new sketch on there. 
and I'm going to use the slot and place a slot in here. And that's within inside the model, so that's good. And I'm also going to do a square and come in and I'm going to fill it the edges. like so. So we should have a radius here. I bring the mouse pointer back. You can see that arc there. We can place a diameter or radius on there. And hit OK, so there's a radius there. So we've got an arc there and an arc here now. We close that. And what we'll do is pocket those. Like so, so those are pocketed. Okay, that. And let's go back in our page and we can see those have been placed in the page. And you can see the crosshairs are on that center point of that arc. So if this was a full circle, you can see the full circle will be placed around here and that's the center point and the same here this is the full circle go right the way around here no that's a fillet there's the center point of that circle that creates that fillet so that's how they look if you had an arced shape in there such as a slot or a fillet so i hope that's helped answer your questions and this was a very quick video and there will be more on my channel very soon thanks for watching and I'll see you again shortly. If you like what you see, and please subscribe to my site. And also I have a Ko-Fi site um, where you can actually donate a few pence or a few pounds, dollars, or whatever your currency is. And that's at ko-fi.com slash mang0. And there you'll be able to help me fund my site and all the money that I actually get from any funds will actually get pushed back into the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing. I'll see you next time.